You can find an argument in every comment section about what exactly is making the car in question spit flames. In fact, there are a few different options it can be. Firstly, let's understand the difference between a rev limiter and launch control. Aftermarket rev limiters, aka two-step, is simply a system usually only used when the car is at a standstill that will help to hold a constant RPM so that a launch can be made more precise and reliable. It simply has two different rev limits, hence the name two-step. It has one limit in the usual place up high to prevent over-revving and damage to the engine, but also one set lower down to aid with a launch by setting the rev limit near the point between where the wheels slip and grip. Most factory rev limiters work by controlling the fuel supply to the engine, known as fuel cut. They usually lean out the air to fuel ratio once you get to the maximum RPM, not allowing the engine to make any more power than is needed to hold constant RPM. This is done to help keep emissions low and prevent unburnt fuel entering the exhaust. However, on aftermarket two-step systems, they tend to have the ability to control ignition as well as fuel. There are two ways they can do this. The first, known as ignition cut or spark cut, will do just that. It'll cut spark from the engine so that no power is made on that cycle, keeping the revs where you want them. The byproduct of this is that all that unburnt fuel enters the hot exhaust, ignites there and sends a fireball out the back. The second way it can hold revs is by retarding the timing. This basically means that the spark will be set to ignite later than it usually does, pulling power as the burn isn't as efficient and keeping it at a certain RPM. Again, this will also mean unburnt fuel is sent into the exhaust, causing pops, bangs and flames. As an aside, you may have heard the terms soft cut and hard cut, and that simply refers to the way the revs are limited. A soft cut will gently cut fuel and ignition partially up to the max RPM, sometimes holding revs constant. On the other hand, a hard cut will cut all fuel and spark at once once it reaches its max RPM, often making the bouncing sound. Now the best way to think of it is that two-step is a part of launch control. This is because launch control usually has other features too. While it can set a lower rev limiter, it may also have sensors to detect wheel slip, be able to adjust power to increase grip, and monitor where the best place to send power is at that moment. Now, let's go to the next very common confusion. There are multiple different methods of anti-lag systems, or ALSs, but we're going to focus on ignition, timing, delay anti-lag, as that's what people confuse with two-step. Its aim is to keep the turbo spooling, minimalizing the amount of lag, and improving performance. As we previously discussed with two-step that retards timing, the ignition happens later, causing unburnt fuel to be sent into the exhaust system. This does in fact happen in ALS, but that's where the similarities stop. An ALS will retard ignition timing so that the engine is barely able to run, maximizing the amount of unburnt fuel that is entering the turbo and combusting there, keeping the turbo spooled up and shooting out those constant deafening flames. Generally, when installed on a race or rally car, an ALS will perform at launch, in between gears, and whenever the throttle is closed to keep that turbo spooled ready for when you want to use boost again giving you those famous pops and bangs when there's no throttle input. Anti-lag is in fact very bad for your turbo and manifold, as neither parts are designed to have combustion occur within them, hence why it's very often used in motorsport, as longevity of the engine takes a backseat to performance. So, as a quick recap, two-step is a rev limiter that can retard timing or cut spark and fuel to hold a certain RPM. Launch Control uses multiple features, including two-step, to help a launch. Anti-lag is a method to keep the turbo spooling between gears and when off throttle by heavily retarding timing to cause combustion in the turbo. Hopefully that helps to clarify the often confused terms, and what other topics and parts do you want us to explain?